Hey, what up, YouTube? I'm doing one last video and then I'm going to stop. But um, I'm doing a video about me at work and our clientele. We got some straight up hood clientele. Like when I worked at SunTrust, I was just used to like elderly Caucasian business owners just coming in to make a big deposit. But when I work at Wamu, it's completely different. In Lithonia, on a certain road, and it's like that road, it be popping. Like everybody be on that road. Everybody, they grandma. They mama, they be on that road. They know what's going on. But I wouldn't say it's necessarily the hood because as long as like an area for like African Americans and they're doing their thing like they're hard working. It's kind of like middle class. But you got some areas like people, they just, I don't know, whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm going to tell y'all about a little story that, uh, I'm going to tell y'all about two stories about my hood clientele while I'm eating my show. It's so good, y'all. But, um, one, there was, um, this crazy, some crazy chick, she done came into the, uh, branch. This actually happened yesterday. Well, I was working on Saturday, it's Sunday now, but this happened yesterday. She came inside the branch wearing a hoodie, a hat, and some sunglasses. Now, you know, when you go into the bank, you ain't supposed to have now one of those things on because we have to identify you. Like, if you come in there looking all suspicious like that, I'm going to think you a robber. Coming in with a hoodie, a hat, and some sunglasses, it's not like she had on one out of all those three things. She had on all three of those things. And so, she went to the block, the, the little stadium because, you know, Wamu, we're set up like an Ocasio setting. We're not a traditional bank, even though we're about to switch back to being a traditional bank because Chase bought us out. But she went to one of those little stadiums to write her little deposit out and everything like that. And I'm just sitting here looking at her like she's crazy. I'm like, what? Why this bitch coming in the bank looking like that? And so then she gonna look at me and she was like, okay, you ready for me? I was like, sure, but... I may need you to take your hoodie off and your sunglasses off. And she was like, you talking to me? I was like, well, ma'am, you're the only person in line and you're the only person in line wearing a hoodie and sunglasses off. So, yes. And then she was like, really? I have to take them off. I was like, well, just your hoodie and your sunglasses. Now, I didn't say the hat because I could understand maybe you're having one of those nappy-headed days and you're having a bad hair day. You want to keep your hat on, but I'm just saying, you can take your hoodie off, take your sunglasses off so I can see your eyes, see your face, you know, so I know that you ain't no robber or anything like that. And she was like, well, I didn't say that to her. I'm just saying, well, I'm, I'm unable to process your transaction if you're not going to take your hoodie or your sunglasses off. And she was like, and you want me to take them off? And I was like, yes. And she was like, no, I don't want to take them off. And I was like, well, okay, ma'am. Would you like me to direct you to the ATM? It's over there. Have you seen our drive-thru? You know? I was like, you could go through the drive-thru if you'd like. And she was like, so you're not going to process my transaction? I was like, I'm unable to process your transaction if you're unwilling to do those two things that I asked from you, ma'am. And she was like, are you serious? And you know, like, <laughs> like when people like get upset with me, I can't do nothing but smile. I just sit there and smile. That's like customer service. You ain't supposed to like get mad back at them and argue with them because then you might lose your job. Like the customer's always right. But I, I said with a smile on my face, I was like, I'm very serious, ma'am. <laughs> And she got pissed off and she just stormed out. And she walked out five minutes later, she came back in. She was like, where's your manager? I want to speak to your manager, you know. And I was like, okay, well, ma'am, if you just have a seat, I'll go get her and she'll be with you shortly. And so she's sitting there. So the lead teller, uh, our senior teller, uh, Marquise, he came over there. And he was like, what can I assist you with? Is there anything I can help you with instead of getting my manager? And then she's going to get all up in Marquise's face, you know, doing the little finger and neck roll and everything like that. Talking about, this girl said she wouldn't process my transaction unless I take my hoodie and my sunglasses off. And I'm sitting there like, I sure did. You <laughs> know, I'm like, I'm sitting there like, mm-hmm, shaking my head and everything like that. And she was like, and I want to speak to the manager because I want to know why I have to take them off. I just want to come make a deposit and a transfer and that's it. And then he was like, well, I'll process the transaction for you, ma'am. And so I'm like, what people don't understand is that when you come to a bank and you go to a teller, we are not, it's our prerogative. 
if we want to process your trans, if there's something we feel uncomfortable about, we don't have to do it. We can send you somewhere else. So I'm like, if you come to my fucking station and you want me to process your transaction, you better not have no hoodie or no sunglasses on because I'm going to think you a robber. And if you come to me and I allow you to come to me, this bitch could have handed me a deposit slip that said, give me all your money. Then I would have been targeted and I would have had to give her the money out of my drawer and I would have came up short and I would have gotten fired. You know, so I'm like, well, don't get mad at me because I'm doing my job. You know, no, everybody knows not to go into a bank with a hoodie, a hat, and sunglasses on. So I was like, well, shit, if you don't want to come to me because you don't want to do those two things, well, you can sit and wait for another teller to process your transaction because I refuse to do it. And I, so I really didn't get in trouble because I did what was right anyways, but she just tried to get me in trouble. Like, why is she being like this? I, I wasn't even being me. I was smiling the whole time. Like, I'm sorry, man. Why can't you do anything? Like, looking straight up stupid, even though in the back of my mind, I wanted to cuss this bitch out. And then when I was in drive through this elderly, she wasn't even old. She was probably like 45, 40, 45. But she came in and she wanted to do four money orders through drive-thru. And now you know you can't do money orders in the drive-thru. You got to come in for them. And so I was like, ma'am, I'm sorry, but we can't do money orders through drive-thru. And she was like, since when? And I was like, since always. <laughs> you know? And she was like, why not? I was like, it's bank policies. In order for you to get your money orders, you'd have to come inside and we could process it for you. And she was like, well, I've been a customer for four and a half years and you guys can't do this for me? And I was like, well, I'm sorry, ma'am. I understand your frustration, but bank policies, I'm unable to process your money orders through drive through So if you'd like, you can come inside and by the time you come inside, we'll have everything ready for you to go and you could. I'll just give you a receipt, but we can't do it while you're just sitting in drive through She was like, I got too many kids in my damn car to be coming up in the branch. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know what to do for you. You know, how I'm like, it's bank policy. You must come inside. You can't do it through the drive through And then, um, my roommate's home. I just heard the jingling from the door. And then this bitch done took the drive through tube, threw it, and ran the shit over. And then the hoe had the nerve to bring the shit back in talking about it fell. I was watching her the whole time the bitch took the tube. She threw it and she ran the shit over. I was like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? Like, seriously, was it? And then I was like, bitch, you was not. She came inside anyways to bring it in. So why wouldn't you just come inside to get the money orders? Why would you have to do all that extra shit and throw it and run it over? So then it's making everything else worse for me because I'm working drive through and I'm having, I, I'm one tube short and everything back up. So I'm having to send the same tube back through the different drive throughs trying to do the processes and the transactions and shit like that because this bitch got mad and threw a hiss fit and ran over the damn tube. But I'm about to finish my sherbet and cool down again because I'm getting heated. And look, my sherbet melted, y'all. <laughs> but bye. I'm done with my videos. Ooh, it fell on my thigh. Who want to come lick it off? <laughs> bye. <laughs>